Good morning, guys. We are going up to Wakasasa again, taking the airboat, going to do some scouting and fishing, but it is like, I don't know, it's got to be high 20s, low 30s. It is frozen. Everything is frozen. Poor light lines and good times. This is not Florida temperature. This is, this is no BS, boys. It is 28. I think we got some bait now. Got some bait. We see the for it I think I think that means we put a hole in the boat no oh. I don't know you guys tell me what that means does anybody know what that means when water's coming in the boat Is that, are we filling the live well or are we sinking I don't know to get our stuff situated here i just put the first bait out creek chub we caught boom fish i mean i just set the rod in the rod holder we just ran over probably 50 fish and boom they just eat like that <laughs> it's not a bad fish either oh yeah that's a nice one <laughs> no we don't have that <laughs> that's extra weight in the boat we don't need that's right we would have got stuck earlier if we yeah. didn't that yeah yeah, so we were running dry, jumping a lot of stuff to get back in here, and it was sketchy to say the least. Oh, that's a nice fish. Dude, for real, that's a nice fish. That's not bad. Not bad for a first fish. First fish of the day. Got some cool spots on this side. Heck yeah. Old creek chub. Yeah, tape. No, the cooler. Dang, first fish. That's a good one. Almost 26 inches. You don't want to keep any? It's more weight in the boat, man. 26 inches almost. First fish. Creek chub. All right, Ross, your turn. I showed you how to do it. Still there when we leave, we're keeping them. <laughs> and I still got my creek chub. A little battle scarred, but put them in the bucket. I'm not making like the best cast either. I'm just, I'm just putting it in the water. I'll tell you what I got one too. Oh, he came off. Awesome. I didn't lose mine. Oh, all right. He had one, and I got one on. He lost his. I got mine. <laughs> I think there's a couple fish right here. Push. Dude, this is too easy. This is too easy. Pretty fish, too. Man, that's a nice, another nice one. The one I lost. I'm was surprised. Small. Dude, they're like almost lethargic because they're not rip and drag. Yeah. Like they would usually haul butt. Joker. Oh, dude, that is right there. Oh, Lee, Schmolch. I'm gonna have to say that's a bigger fish there. That's gonna be a 27, possibly. I don't know. That might be over. Ooh, that's a good way to get hooked. There it is. There it is. Fish number two. 
That one might make 27. That's it's gonna be close. Oh come on. 26 and a half. Give me my finger. Oh. oh. I can't tell where zero is. Dude, that's almost right at 27. Yeah, that's a tournament fish right there. Not real fat, but a solid fish. Not skinny by any means. Not skinny by any means. Come on, quit. He's tightening up. All right. Releasing this one, too. That's a, that's a tournament winner. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Off into the depths. Fight another day. Hopefully tournament day would be nice. <laughs> All right. I just put another bait out. <laughs> I popped open my cowboy water, sit down to take a drink, and boom, another fish on. <laughs> Not bad fish either. That one's gonna go 24. This one? No, this one's bigger than your other. No. I don't. Actually, it's getting bigger when it gets closer. <laughs> this one's looking pretty good. Ugh. He's mad. He says, you ain't gonna weigh me. Dude, they didn't look this big. I told you. That's a good one, man. They didn't look this big. By no means. Ooh, don't you think about it, you big girl. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh. All right, let me give you, give you all a gander at this one. Another nice fish. Get out of the Another nice fish. Let's see what it goes. Let's see what it goes. Are you kidding me? I told you. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. Perfect. This isn't gonna happen in a few, in a week from now. That's 27 on the dot, guys. 27 on the dot. Can't make this up. Question today, we're letting all these fish go. <laughs> Hi, it's cowboy water, Coors Light. One of my clients, Matt, he would understand. He'd appreciate it. Shout out to Matt, because I know you want to come back and go fishing again. Get a bigger airboat, be able to do airboat trips. Mm. Catching redfish never tastes so good. Oh, Ross finally got him one. Let's see what it's looking like. Smaller one. That's a cute fish though. <laughs> It's a keeper. I'll let you keep that one if you want. Not much weight in the boat. Yep. Nice job, man. I didn't believe you that you could catch fish there for a minute. Let me see. Let me get a picture. Of this little guy? Yeah, dude. Picture's a picture. A fish is a fish. Ready? One, two, three. Easy, Roscoe. Easy, Roscoe. Dude, no doubt. No doubt there'd be some fish in here, eh? Yeah. Oh, don't you know. It's good time on the airboat. Good time on the airboat. 
need another one out here to see what's going on. I'm not going to measure him. He's a nice fish, though. There's a technique to this. You cast it out, close that bail, hand it to Rodney, and you pick up your slack, and you hope you don't get a bite right away so you can at least get a sip of your drink. I see with this one, boys. Oh, yeah, there he is. Mm. Oh, don't you know? Mm, you can't make this up. This is... This is a, you want to catch big fish? Just follow my ways. Follow my ways. Get yourself one of these nice pin battle fierce threes right here with an ugly stick. Make sure you get the reverse rotation on your handle. If not, you don't have the same gear reduction. It has no power in them. You got to have the reverse gear reduction. Boom! Oh, there we go. Oh, those ugly sticks and the backbone power they have. You get fish like that all day. This is just it's how you do it, boys. to the house now had an awesome day fishing we did hit some good rocks and oysters and stuff so the airboat does have some damage opened up some new welds on it so we're gonna have to try to do some repairs tomorrow try to weld the cage and get the airboat welded thanks up. for watching guys